Hello, Laverne here. May God bless this video, yada yada yada. I haven't made any videos in a while because for some reason, after all those anti-Paul videos, my computer threw up and then threw itself out a window. In the meantime, I've been studying the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Essenes. There's a lot of information that supports that John the Baptist, Jesus, the Apostles, and the early Christians were Essenes. So stay tuned and real soon I'll make a new video all about it. Thank you and may God bless you. Satan! Satan! <laughs> so you're at it again, huh, Laverne? How's about we take a little trip back to first century Judea? Ha! Huh, you devil worshipper! You'll never get me into that demon powered device! <laughs> Aw, oh, too bad. Guess you're going. Okay, Laverne, know where we are? Ha! This is some sort of evil delusion created by Satan to trick me into thinking we're in the first century. And you! You're an evil delusion too, you spawn of Satan! Uh, if you're through playing with the local wildlife, let's have a look over there. You see those two guys? They're about to have an interesting conversation. The date right now is just a year or so before Jesus will be crucified. So this is a unique opportunity. Pay close attention now, okay? Oh my goodness! Is that you, Ernest? Hey, it's my old buddy Bertrand. I haven't seen you around the SCK case lady, old buddy, old pal. Oh, no, no, you haven't. And I should have told you why. You see, I recently joined the Nazarene movement. You, uh, became a follower of Jesus of Nazareth? Yeah, yeah, I did, and it's great! Hmm, gosh, Bertrand, why would you do a thing like that? I thought you'd figured that we as scenes were the movement that would usher in the kingdom of God, and that the scriptures of our forefathers would be fulfilled in our movement. Ha! Huh, see? They believe in the same thing found in the New Testament. Liar! Spawn of Satan! Keep listening, Laverne. Yeah, I used to think that too. But now I think Jesus will fulfill those scriptures. In fact, I think he already has to some extent. Huh. So, what do these Nazarenes believe? Do they follow the law like we as scenes do? Well, no, not really. I mean, we respect the law as a moral guide, but we're not that strict about it. For example, Jesus allows life-saving rescue on the Sabbath, and as I recall, the Essenes don't allow it if any instrument is required to do it. Yeah, that's true. We as scenes are more fanatical about the Sabbath than the Pharisees are. That's true. And I'll tell you a few more differences between us. You know the temple here in Jerusalem? Boy, oh boy, do I ever. One of these days, that place is going to be cleaned up, Bertrand. Oh, oh, we don't think so. Jesus said it's going to be destroyed and not come back real soon. Oh, really? Well, if he's right about that, he would be a pretty good prophet. You bet. And that's not the only differences. Well, buddy Bertrand, this has been great, but as you probably remember, we as scenes aren't supposed to engage in controversy with people outside our movement. So, I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to cut this talk short. Sure, Ernest, I understand. And that's another big difference between us. We followers of Jesus have been told to spread the good news about him to everyone. Hmm, maybe I'll check this Jesus out later, Bertrand. Anyway, I have to go now. The wife's cooking a big bird for dinner. Okay, see you around, Ernest. So, there you go. What do you say to that? I say... Oh my goodness, what's that? What's what? 
Hey, now don't do that. Ah. Ah, oh, great. It took too long for me to get out the recall mechanism. Come on back now, baby. Uh, I wonder where he got dropped off at. Jester! Where's my cold Jester? Uh, here I am, Your Majesty. Good. Now stand still. <laughs> I love it when he does that.